What is up guys, Stark here, and today I'm bringing you my Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3B Death Predictions. Now, I know I forgot to do the um, entire season like I was originally planning on, along with the fact I forgot to do the entire 7th season of The Walking Dead, but I'm back, and I'm trying to get this and The Walking Dead Season 8 under wraps in the next week. But I'm going to do my typical yes-no-maybe system for if I think the character's going to die or not, because I hated that percentage thing I did with Walking Dead Season 5. But that's beside the point. I'm going to start at the top of the casting call. It's Kim Dickens, who plays Madison Clark. I'm going to work my way down from there. I hope you enjoy. So first up, we do have Madison Clark here, and I'm just going to front by saying there's no chance in hell. No way. It'd be like killing Rick Grimes at this point. At the beginning of the season, I wasn't really sure if it was Madison's story or if it was going to be... Uh, Travis's story, but that question got answered for us in the second episode, I'm pretty sure. So, no, Madison's not dying. She's Rick Grimes in this show. She's not going anywhere. I'd be incredibly beyond shocked if they killed off Travis and Madison the same season. I won't completely put it past them, but, I mean, no, there's no way. Next up is Nick Clark, and going towards the end of last season, I was completely convinced, guaranteeing that Nick was going to die, and... Now I can't see the show without him. I don't think they're going to kill Nick either. I'm going to put him at no. I think he's become... I think he's the Deutragonist or however... He, I don't know what that word is. There's protagonist. I think Deutragonist and Tritagonist, if I'm not mistaken. And I think Nick's a Deutragonist. Especially after Travis died. We need a male lead on the show. And I'm not ready for... Um, Strands around, but he's not with the main group. Same with Daniel. Neither of those auto guys are ready to step up to me. Male lead yet. I definitely don't think Nick's dying this season. I kind of don't think he's going to die for a while now either. This whole season's kind of solidified him as a super long-term main cast character for me. So now I, don't, I think he's fine. And I think he's fine for next season probably as well. The final Clark on the list is Alicia. And... I don't think she's dying either. I think the entire Clark family is safe for a long time now. Travis and Chris both dying in within a season from now is just kind of solidifying that for me. I don't think they're going to do anything with any of the Clarks for this season. Maybe next season's mid-season finale at the absolute soonest. I mean, it's the Clark story now. And killing Alicia, killing Nick just, I think, would ruin that. And obviously, you're not going to kill Madison right now. So I do think Alicia is safe for the rest of the year. Alright, you guys are probably going to hate me because Victor Strand's probably, I'd say outside of the Clark family, he's the next major character on the show. I think he's a tiny bit more important than the Ottos or the Salazars. I think he's just kind of, because he's his own dude, he's kind of had his own plot lines and everything. I'd say he's the fourth most important character on the show right now, and I don't think he's going to die either. I don't think any of the top four main characters are going to die. I think they're all safe, and people might hate on that, but like, oh, you're not taking any risk with anything. I just don't think they're going to die. Victor's whole thing with the Abigail in the mid-season finale kind of makes me set up, makes me think he's got a, another plan hatched of his, or he's ready to do something. I just don't think they're going to kill him yet. Um, I said this last season, I was like, oh, maybe by the end of this season they might be ready to kill Victor. I don't think they are yet. I think he's got stuff coming up. I do think he's destined to meet back up with Madison and them at some point. Maybe not anytime soon. I don't know what they're doing with the story either, because Luciana's off in one direction. The Strand's off in one direction with Daniel, Ophelia's with people, the Clarks are with people, it's all kind of spread out, and I feel like they're going to come back and meet with each other soon, but I definitely do not think Victor is going to die. Next up is Ophelia Salazar, and Ophelia, I was leaning towards, I was, she's one of the ones I thought about a little bit more, I was leaning towards yes, and I was thinking no, and I didn't want to say maybe, because I, I feel like her story's either going to branch in one way or another, she's either going to... And this is going to go into what I talk about with Walker and Troy in a little bit, but she's just first on the casting call, so it's just I'm going to talk about her first. I still think there's going to be conflict between the ranch and the <clears throat> Indian Reservation, and I think Ophelia's either going to get caught on one side or the other, and I think she's going to get caught on the winning side, which means I do think in the end, if this were to happen, she would side with um, the original group of survivors, the Clarks, and everything like that. I don't think she's going to die. I do think there's a chance, but I didn't want to say maybe because I don't think there's that high of a chance. But no, I, I'd i venture to... I'd say she's probably about 85% safe throughout the rest of the season. Next up is Troy Otto. He is the one that is a bit more aggressive. He's... I don't know. I confused the two Ottos for like the first five episodes. Not, not the characters, just their names. There's Troy and there's Jake, I think. I don't know. I'm going to look it up before I even do the next one. 
But um, I do think Troy is going to die, just based on his nature. I don't think his antagonistic ways are completely over. I do think towards the Clarks in the ranch, he is no longer going to be an antagonistic person. I kind of think he is turning that leaf. I don't know, though. I really, there's something up with him. I don't really know if he's just kind of messed up in the head a little bit. The apocalypse is getting to him wrong or something like that. I do think he is going to die, though. And I think it's going to be, he's going to reignite conflicts with that Indian reservation led by Walker. And I think it's going to end up getting him killed. I do think if there's a big shocker death, I don't know if you can really count him as a, as one because I don't. I'd venture to say the majority of the fan base probably doesn't like him that much. I think he's a cool character. He, I like him a lot more than Chris, and they're both kind of like the same types of character. I think he's going to die. I think he might be the big death in the season finale, because I do think there's going to be another war effort between the ranch and the Indian Reservation. I think it's going to be led by Troy. This is what I was touching on back with Ophelia, and I do think Troy will be a casualty of that conflict. All right, cool. I did get his name right. Next up is Jake Otto. I don't have a ton to say about Jake. I His character is kind of bland to me. I don't hate him or anything like that, but I don't want to say he's annoying, but he's a tiny bit annoying. Uh, I think Jake's going to survive, mostly just because I think Troy's going to die, and I don't see any chance in hell they kill off all three of the Ottos in the same season. I think Troy's going to die. I would assume the Clarks and the Ranch. Like, this is all based on me thinking that there's going to be another war, so please keep that in mind. But I would assume the Clarks and the Ranch are going to win the war or there'd be some another kind of peace treaty or whatever and i think madison's going to end up being the leader of the ranch but i think jake's going to be there for a little bit to kind of like help her ease into it and be her like community face because jake's been there forever madison's been there for two weeks maybe but no i don't think jake's gonna die i think he's completely fine especially since his brother i think is gonna die and his father is already dead Next up is luciana i'm going to put luciana at a maybe because there's a few things i think could happen with her if she was going to die, I feel like they would have killed her off early in the season when she was injured instead of nursing her back to health just to kill her off a little bit later in the season. I don't see a big point in that because there was a big thing for a while if she was even going to survive or not. But she's also leaving and completely by herself, which obviously in the apocalypse can get you killed. I do think she's going to be okay, but I have to put her at maybe just because there are a few things that could play out. We may never even see her again. She legitimately like just may wander off and never come back. I hope that's not the case. Luciana is one of my favorite newer characters in the show um but yeah i do have her at maybe because i just think there's too many wild card variables right now with her to give a definitive yes or no next is daniel salazar and i just want to say thank god he's alive i was so upset in last season's mid-season finale because i did actually think they killed him off and i was just really happy when i saw him kind of come and uh give strand the business at the end of i think episode three but, um i'm gonna put daniel to maybe as well i kind of <laughs> He's another one. I don't think they would have brought him back, warmed all our hearts and everything, just to take him away this season. I do not think he's long-term. I do think if he survives, he's definitely gone by this time next season. I think he's destined to meet up with Ophelia again, and for him to meet up with Ophelia again, um, he'd have to come back to the ranch um, Indian reservation area to meet up with maybe the Clarks and everything like that. Um, I could see him definitely getting caught if that whole war thing, I think, happens. I could definitely see him getting caught in the crossfire for that because he'd obviously fight with whatever side Ophelia is on. But even if that whole war thing doesn't happen, I'm just not giving him the 100% guarantee because AMC likes to break our hearts with things like that. I could see him just getting back to Ophelia and dying there. I definitely think Ophelia will outlive Daniel. I'm not guaranteeing his death this season, but I also don't think if, if we look down the road exactly 16 episodes from now, I guarantee Daniel's probably not around with us anymore. And last up, we have Kaladika Walker. I hope I said that right. I probably didn't. Uh, he's the leader of the Indian Reservation. I don't know if that Indian Reservation has a name or not. I've just been calling it the Indian Reservation. But anyway, um, I do think Kaleda is going to die as well. I think, once again, this is all based on me having this gigantic theory that I think there's going to be further conflict between the ranch and the reservation. I think Troy's going to come in, kill him. Just to prove some kind I don't know. Troy's insane, and that's pretty much all the like reason I feel like I need for that. Troy's insane. I feel like he's going to want revenge, retribution, whatever. He's going to go and kill Kaleda and then get killed fleeing the compound or whatever. And that's going to ignite a big war between the two sides who have both lost a prominent figure. But no, I don't think Kaleda's long term. I, he might not even show up again for all we know. That whole reservation thing might go away. I don't think it will. But no, I don't think Kaleda is going to be around. He, I either think 
Troy's going to come in and kill him all vigilante style, like how I'm originally predicting, or I feel like he may just get greedy, want his land back anyway, and start another war and get killed. But either way, I don't think he's going to survive the rest of the season. And with that, I'd love to thank you guys for watching. I know I forgot a few characters. I think there's like Lula or Lucia or whoever who helped Daniel at the water dam. And there's a um, couple like soldier guys. I remember Cooper because I kind of liked Cooper. And there's just a few other kind of like people with names, but they're really not important at all. I just kind of skipped over them. I didn't think they were important. I didn't want to make the video even longer for people who really probably in the grand scheme of things do not matter at all. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and leave me a like. Let me know who you think is going to die down in the comment section down below. I should be coming out with The Walking Dead Season 8 Death Predictions relatively soon. I'd like to do it within the week, so that'd be cool. I'm really excited for the back half of Fear the Walking Dead Season 3B. I think the first half was, like, seriously, I'm not even, like, saying this just to say it. I actually, honestly think the first half of Fear the Walking Dead 3A kind of rivaled some of the better halves of The Walking Dead, so I'd love to see the show continue down that path, just keep improving, because I think it did a really great job in the first half of this season. But without further ado, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.